Hello everyone, it's finally time. Season 4 is in the game and all the characters have changed. I want to make videos talking about all of my favorites, but I'm going to start with Eliza. And I even have the real patch notes, imagine that. Now, my thing with Eliza going into Season 4 was that I actually really liked where she was at. And I was hoping they wouldn't change her too much unnecessarily. And I also really hoped that they, they would allow her to retain this very important Moonglide 4 buff that they gave her earlier in Season 3. And luckily she still has that and I think I'm going to be enjoying playing Elisa just as much in Season 4 as I did in Season 3. But she has changed in some significant ways so let's go through the notes and talk about it. Uh, first of all, we've talked about previously how she has this these sleep mechanics where she will fall asleep and then that will allow her to charge her meter. And we talked about how it's kind of underdeveloped and underutilized. And that is actually something that they've looked at. So first of all, her Bloody Claw, all three versions of it. So Ford 4 2, Moon Glide 2, and then the EX version of Moon Glide 2. You can hold back to cancel the sleep as normal. But if you go into the sleep, you can tell here that they've really sped it up. And I also feel like they've sped up your ability to wake up in the middle when you need to, if the opponent is closing in and you really need to wake up so that you can start defending again. So it's really cool, right? Because if I combo Steve, for example, and I decide to end with the Bloody Claw and I start sleeping, he now needs to worry about waking up and getting back in uh, and engaging me. Otherwise, I'm gaining a lot of meter for free. And that's dangerous because Elisa has really good EX moves. Um, so I don't know how useful it's going to be in matches. That's going to take a lot of play testing, but I think it's a, a fun change and it brings this character gimmick of the sleep a little bit more to the foreground. The other thing is when she is in crouch and she holds down, she can fall asleep like this. And this also allows her to charge meter. And it's also something that they've sped up. I especially feel like they've uh, allowed you to be uh, explosive with your while standing moves out of this. Um, and so this is cool, right? Because it reminds me of Yoshi. You know how he will turn around and he will charge his health bar uh, when you're spaced out. And that's really to taunt you to run in and engage him. And then he's trying to catch you on the way in. And it's great because Eliza is like a defensive fighter, right? She likes space. So she, she's backdashing. She's throwing her fireball. But say, for example, that she just crouches out here and now she's gaining a lot of meter for free. If the opponent is turtling hard, now they need to worry about this. So think example, um, think about the Kazia matchup or the Asuka matchup. If I do this and they're scared of my EX moves, they really need to worry about doing something about this. And I think it's interesting because um, it really stresses people out. Usually with Elisa, you're trying to like uh, get in with your long range stuff, but this sort of invites them more to come to you. And I like that. I think it could be useful, but it's again, gonna take a lot of play testing. Now we need to turn on the meter and talk about uh, EXDP. So the change to this is kind of cosmetic. You can tell that the second hit here or the second part of the string, they've sort of added a little camera angle and it turns into a throw, whereas before it was just a series of special mids. Uh, and this only happens when you hit them on the front. So you might be wondering what happens when you hit them somewhere else. Well, when you hit them somewhere else, it's just the same string of special mids that it was before. And you don't get the cinematic camera angle. So they've just made it look a lot more like the EXDP from Akuma. And it's not a major change as far as I can tell. Next, we need to talk about um, this string, the Moonglide 1 string. This is the, the big change, really. So first of all, uh, the second hit of Moonglide 1, 2, they've given you the ability to really delay this hit. And you still have the ability to delay the third hit uh, as well. So you can tell that this string is becoming a lot more tricky. So that's kind of cool, not really that useful, but it ties into um, your new move. So your new move with Elisa is going to be Moonglide 1, 4. And when I first saw this, I was kind of underwhelmed. I didn't think it was going to be uh, that useful, but having played around with it, this move is actually really cool and it opens up a couple of possibilities. First of all, I think it's going to give you a new bread and butter combo and that's always cool. So the standard combos that I do off of uh, her main launchers, I have two versions that I do, just this very basic one, right? And then I end with Moonglide 3.3 and that gives me 61 and the other version, um, where I do this, I'm ending with a DP2 and I'm also getting 61, right? Um, so what you can do right now because of this new uh, Moonglide 1-4, it is a spin move and it really synergizes with jabs. So you can do this. 
and then end with Moonglide 3, 4. That gives you 62, so one point more than the standard combos that I do currently, but it also extends your wall carry uh, with the combos and, and makes that a lot longer. So it's it's powerful and cool and it's really worth trying out. And I talked about the synergy with jabs. You know, Elisa really likes to dash jab and you can really extend um, your spin and your wall carry thanks to that with this new spin move. So say for example, I'm doing this and then I just start uh, dash jabbing like this. As long as I'm able to get a dash jab, I'm also able to get this spin move uh, out of uh, manual moon glide. Um, so you can really do these deep dashes, right? And it also seems to really consistently allow you to uh, end the combo with moon glide three, four. I've tried it on small characters like Elisa and Xiao Yu and it really works. So I think you've got some serious potential for extended wall carry with this new string. So that's really great. Another thing that it allows you to do, and this is really cool, you know how Elisa has this clean hit down three, and she wants to hit with it to cancel into DP2, but that's difficult because um, if the opponent back dashes, she loses the clean hit property, and then uh, she's going to get launched. Well, one thing you can do is you can moon glide in and do moon glide one, and then see how close I am to the opponent right now. My down three is definitely gonna be a clean hit from this range. So I can do a moon glide one and then down three, get my clean hit and cancel that into uh, specials. And uh, the opponent needs to hesitate now. They can't just uh, duck. They can't just, uh, you know, look for a, a parry or something because I have a powerful mid extension that I could do that's going to knock them down. That's going to wall spot them. So you can go in here, get your clean hit uh, down three and cancel that into your specials. I mean, imagine uh, Steve is at the wall right here uh, and his, like the, the wall is right at his back. I do this. And if he decides to crouch because he's looking for lows, I'm going to wall splat him with that. Um, so it really allows you for a cheeky and interesting way of setting up clean hit down three, which is something you need with this character. It's like, you know, been one of her major problems. So I think this is potentially more useful than uh, you would think at first glance. And I think it could be a major fun tool for the character, but I recommend really experimenting with uh, dash jabbing and using it together with the new Moonlight 1-4. Um, for wall carry combos. That's really cool as well. Uh, next, so the down forward one, two, this is great. So this down forward one, two string, this used to be negative on hit, which was just strange. They obviously want Elisa to specialize in fireballs and flying around and not have solid pokes, but getting disadvantage on hit for hitting with your main mid pokes was kind of unfair. And now she's actually going to get advantage here. So she's gonna get a nice uh, plus two, which is good. And it's also gone down from minus uh, 13 to minus 12 on blocks. So you're a little bit safer on block as well. And this string is good. I mainly use the four, but if I'm playing somebody who has really good reaction speed, I always mix this in because they might duck uh, the four right there. It also says in the notes that they've changed so that your opponent's gonna be closer after this counter hit right here on the second hit. I don't really see that. Uh, you still need to dash in deep to be able to get your free butt, but... Um, I mean, it's, it's not a major change. It's going to function for the counter the same way it did previously, but it's a, a nice little uh, change and it's really going to help you um, use this uh, string for creating pressure. You know, get the plus two and then do something uh, at close range. Uh, now uh, we need to talk about the one major nerf, and this is something a lot of Elisa players are going to be sad about. It's potentially a pretty big nerf. I don't utilize it that much, so I don't think I'm going to suffer that much because of it. But previously, if you hit with a um, counter hit down jab and you did a dive kick four, it was, uh, let's set Steve to second option all guard here like that. So if you got the counter hit down jab and did uh, a dive kick four cancel previously, you got enough advantage off of the counter hit down jab that the dive kick could connect, uh, connect guaranteed most of the time. And when you get a dive kick guaranteed, that allows you to jab and then cancel for free into specials. It's kind of difficult to set up and it really requires a lot of intuition and reaction time. So it was difficult to use, but you do do a lot of down jab into dive kick four with this character. And you know you get a lot of counter hits because the down jab is so fast and getting that DP, or sorry, that dive kick free, a lot of the time was really powerful. And I've ended a lot of rounds that way. So that's not gonna be happening anymore. Um, but as long as the opponent isn't uh, back dashing out of the way of the dive kick here, I still think you're in a pretty good spot. You know, having them block the dive kick isn't a big deal. It sometimes gives you significant advantage. So. Um, yeah, it's it's the big nerf of the changes, but um, I don't know just how major it's going to be. 
uh, it was something that only very advanced Elisa players pulled off consistently some of the time. A lot of the time you would just attempt it hoping that you were, uh, were getting the free dive kick and the free special cancel and then you didn't and then you got blocked, punished really hard. It was a risky thing to play with but really cool and really uh, skill based when it did work out. Um, so that's great, uh, or that's bad, but it's not that bad. It's great that this is the biggest nerf that she received, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and now we have a couple of notes here that say, adjusted the motion since it was difficult for the opponent in jump uh, status or status to land a mid attack. This is something that shows up a lot in the patch notes for all characters. And I think what this means is just when you do some attacks... It was difficult for the opponent to hit with mids when they were in the air. So, for example, when they were doing, I guess, uh, a hop kick or something like that. So these are not major changes as far as I can tell. And they show up a lot for many, many characters. So it's some sort of blanket change to prevent lows from going under mids as often. Which is uh, probably a good thing for the game overall. But I don't think it's going to be huge uh, for Elisa. But they've given that note on two moves. Uh, so the... Um, down uh, three and down four. So these two lows that she has. Okay. Uh, now we need to talk about the back uh, one, two, four. And you can probably tell if you're an Elisa player, you've already seen the difference. The final hit of this three hit string is impacting faster. It's two frames faster to impact, which is going to um, make it a little bit more difficult to react to. I have tried it on a dummy and it's still very possible to reliably step this final hit to the right, no problem, and launch her, so don't be worried if you don't like playing against Elisa. This string is not uh, super difficult to sidestep because of this. And then they've also nerfed the damage on the final hit and they've nerfed it quite hard. It's gone down from 23 to 17. Uh, and this might sound big, but trust me, this is actually not a huge change. This string is one of her best moves, and it's good because of the fast impact speed of back one. This is 14. It's great. It's mid. It's got good range. And they recently gave it improved tracking properties on the second hit, the one where she jumps up here. I've tested that as well, and those extra tracking properties are still there. So this is like your best counter hit mid. This is an amazing launcher, and all... Uh, the really important properties of it are still there. Uh, and the only nerf is to the final hit. So I don't think that's major. And the final hit is still going to give you the wall splat when you're near the wall um, and knock the opponent down as normal, setting up, you know, Moonglide for Oki when you hit them otherwise. So it might look big, but I honestly don't think it's that big at all. If they had nerfed the first two hits of this string, that would have been huge for the character. It might have ruined her. Changes to the final hit is not a huge deal in my opinion. Uh, okay, next, this move used to be completely useless in every way. Not really any reason to ever use it. It's 4 foot 1 plus 2. And they probably realize that it makes no sense to have a move that bad and useless in the game. So they've given you the ability to cancel the final hit by holding down like this. And I'm not usually not a big fan of that when they do this because it just ends up not being that useful. If you think about down for 3-3 from Katarina, that can be canceled in the same way. But it almost always works out with her getting launched or hop kicked. Um, but this actually seems like it could be pretty cool because the uh, cancel is really fast and then you can do moves really quickly. And she has this fantastic uh, mid, which is safe on block uh, from full crouch. This is uh, while standing two. So this is a nice, pretty fast, safe little uh, setup that I can see potentially being really great. And if the opponent tries to uh, contend with this cancel, this still has counter hit properties and will allow you for a full combo. So um, again, it's going to take play testing to see exactly how useful that is. But there is at least something to the string now which can make it uh, useful. And I'm definitely going to be trying it out. Um, that's going to wrap up all the significant changes I wanted to talk about for Elisa. Uh, but in conclusion, I think um, the change to the counter hit down jab, it's going to be plus six right now, whether you counter hit or not. So you can see it's, it's the exact same. Might seem big and the nerf to the final hit uh, damage of this thing might look big as well. But I think those are very, very um, mild nerfs to get. Uh, and she still has all the really important stuff that she relies on. I like the Moonlight 4. And she also got uh, some cool improvements to her combo game uh, because of this new spin move. And I also really like the ability to use that to set up EX moves. I'm going to be using that a lot. I, I think it potentially could be really oppressive. So overall, 
Um, she hasn't changed that much. I think she's going to be roughly the same. Um, and that's good news because, like I said, I think Elisa is in a really good spot right now. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I hope you look forward to the other characters that I'm going to be talking about next.